OK, so in all the problems that we've looked at so far to do with moments, well, um, certainly for the problems that we've looked at for the past few videos, have all been looking at forces that have been working um, perpendicular to the rod. OK, um, however, um, of course, that is not always going to be the case. And we can look at problems where that isn't the situation. And so let's introduce that with this problem. Uh, we've got a drawbridge of mass 500 kilos and length 6 meters is pivoted at point P and is held in a horizontal position by a cable attached at point Q as shown. OK, so a couple of things to really note here. Um, Firstly, um, that we have the mass of 500 kilos. The drawbridge has a mass of 500 kilos. Um, it's got a length of 6 metres. So there will be this point in the middle, where the centre of mass, where that's 500 g. OK, and this length will be 1 metre. OK, that's the first thing to note. The second thing to note is because it is pivoted at P, okay, so it's like a hinge, that means it, you know, it's not the, uh, the case where we've got a support that's holding the beam up, where we knew that the normal reaction had to be working vertically upwards. Now, that normal reaction does not necessarily have to be working just vertically. OK, so the normal reaction force for P may well be working at an angle itself. OK, and so we're going to look at that uh, as having X and Y components. OK, so what you can kind of imagine is that P, uh, the normal reaction at P will have some kind of uh, normal reaction. I'm, you know, I'm not going to draw it on, otherwise it's going to really confuse the diagram. Okay, So we're going to have to think of it that way. So what can we do? Okay, What can we do? Well, what we can do is we can look at taking moments about P. We still know that's got to be 0. Okay. Now, if I take moments about P, I've got to think about uh, how far P is away, uh, perpendicular distance away from this force at Q, because there's going to be this tension in this string, okay, in the, um, uh, the cable that is holding the drawbridge up. Okay? So what I want to do is if I extend that out, Okay, that's going to be a right angle. So that means that this side okay, is the opposite side to this right angle triangle. The hypotenuse is 4, and so that will be 4 sine 45 degrees. Okay. So that means that if I'm looking at the... Um, force that's being applied at Q, and I'm looking at taking a moment on that, then this is a force that is going that way around, OK? So it's going anti-clockwise, and so it'll be positive. And so I'm going to have um, T times the perpendicular distance, force sine 45. So that's that force. And then I've got this force here, which is going uh, clockwise, and so will be negative. So take away 500g times by that distance, which is going to be 3 metres. That's got to be equal to 0. So this allows me to find the tension in the cable. OK? So I'm utilising my um, finding moments about... Um, a point with looking at the right angle triangles that we did way back at the beginning of this uh, set of videos on moments. So I've got the 500 times 9.8 times by 3. 
So that's 14,700. I'm going to divide that by 4, and then I'm going to divide that by sine of 45 degrees. And that gets me 5197 uh, newtons. So um, 5197, 2, 3, 4, etc. So 5,200 newtons to two significant figures. Okay, so that finds me T. Now, with that in mind, can I now, if I, want, if I was asked to, find the normal reaction force that's working at P? Okay, so this is the next job. Can I find the normal reaction force that's working at P? Well, what I can do now is I can start to think of this more as um, uh, a resultant force equilibrium problem. Okay, so rather than taking moments, what I can start to think about is if I redraw this diagram out, okay, I'm going to have, let's say, um, this. Uh, Let's uh, not call that P. That's, that's a point P. So I'm going to have this normal reaction force. So let's say that's R. And I don't know the angle to it. OK, so this angle is going to be theta. So this will be R sine theta. And that will be R cos theta. Then I've got um, this uh, point, the Q. I've worked out the tension, T. Okay. So I've got uh, T, so that's 45 degrees. So this is T cos 45 and T sine 45. And I've got the 500G working directly downwards, okay? So, I should now be able to go, well, if I look at the uh, vertical and horizontal components, then those forces have got to cancel each other out. So, if I resolve taking uh, upwards as positive, then I've got the R sine theta uh, plus the T sine 45, And then I've got the takeaway the 500G, and that's got to be equal to mass times acceleration is at zero. Acceleration is zero. Okay, so R sine theta uh, times that by sine of 45, so 3675. Uh, so I want 500 times 9.8, take away that, gets me 1225. So that's R sine theta. OK, so now, with that in mind, if I resolve taking to the right as positive this time, I've got the R cos theta, I've got the T cos 45, and uh, I've, well, that's it, isn't it? Because I haven't got any other horizontal forces. That's got to be equal to 0. So R cos theta is... Uh, so what did we have? I've got to go back, put that on my calculator. Uh, divide that by 4, divide by the sine of 45. So I want to times that by cos of 45. Uh, so that's 3,675. OK, so if that's equation number 1, and that's equation number 2, then I could do equation number 1 divided by equation number 2. So I get tan theta is 1,225 divided by 3,675, so a third. So theta is inverse tan of a third, uh, which is 18.4 uh, degrees. Three sig fig. OK, so that's my angle. And R itself is, well, um, if I, 
What do I want to do there? Um, so, yeah, if I just substitute that in, I can work out R, can't I? So, 1,225 divided by sine of that angle is uh, 3,873.790134, etc. Okay, so that's my R. So if I wanted to know um, the magnitude and direction of the normal reaction at P, then there you are. Okay, so let's put that as 18 degrees to 2 sig fig. Okay, so this allows me um, a way of finding uh, the tension in the cable and uh, the normal reaction, which in this case is not, at, um, is not uh, perpendicular to the drawbridge. Okay, because it's uh, pivoted around a point. So the normal reaction is actually working kind of at that angle uh, away from point P.